Hi, my name is Daniel McKinley, and today I am at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we're going to be looking at Rhino Hero by Haba Games. Rhino Hero is a very simple game of stacking cards. It can play two to five players, and it's intended for kids five and up. In the box, you get one base card that has an easy mode and a hard mode, which we'll talk about in a minute. Stack of cards, a Rhino Hero piece, and a bunch of walls, which you'll be folding in half to build to stack on. During the game, players are going to be dealt five cards into their hand, and your goal is to be the person who gets rid of all of their cards, or not be the person who topples the tower. So we'll show you how that works. We're going to start by showing you the easy side, which has little walls sections right here on the floor. On a player's turn, they're going to be building these walls, matching those lines on the card as best as possible, as shown right here. Then that player gets to play another floor card on top of the stack, like so. I'd put it face up, and it would become the next player's turn. Now, these cards also do have abilities, which are shown by the little icons up on the top corner. If I played one without an icon, the next player would follow in suit. They would build the two walls, or sometimes one wall shown, and continue accordingly. Now, if I play this one with an exclamation point, that means that the next player takes a breather, and we effectively skip their turn preventing them from playing a card and having fewer in their hand. If you play a 2x card, you get to play another floor card on top of it, having, giving you fewer cards in your hand. This one with the arrows and the purple symbol means that you reverse the turn order. So if I play this, it's the next player in order. The plus one means that the next player draws a card. And finally, my favorite one, the one with the rhino hero icon on it, once you place it, the next player must build the walls just like normal, but then they must place the Rhino Hero, like so. If they successfully do so, they continue playing accordingly. Now if another Rhino Hero card gets played on top of it, you will have to take out the Rhino Hero from the tower and put it back on, this, back on the card after you've placed the wall. Game continues like this until all play, all, one player has emptied all of their cards, or a player has knocked over the tower. And that's Rhino Hero. So that's how you play Rhino Hero. It's a really fun game, and even though it's intended for kids, I've seen adults have more fun with it than just about anybody else. So, definitely come check it out. If you'd like to see it or play it in person, come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where we can show you how to play Rhino Hero. Uh -huh.